This video is just showing some interesting moments that I've had playing Blood of the Dead. This first one was just a really bad anywhere but here. I was on the top floor of the warden's house. I used my ABH and I literally teleported to the bottom floor on the other side of the horde of zombies that was chasing me. The goal was to get out of the house, not go deeper into the house. So that was just horrible luck. And this is just a little trick you can use when you're doing the Michigan step. Uh, you have to lead the zombie all the way to just outside the warden's office. And the, or the ghost, I mean. And the zombies are chasing him, trying to kill him. But if you take, now you see me, the elixir, they'll actually chase neither you nor the ghost for 15 seconds. During that step in particular, it, it's interesting how the elixir behaves that way, but it, it works kind of helpful. And this was just a, a very unfortunate situation where I got trapped in a corner, and I have no idea how I survived. Uh, it was just luck. So a Winter's Whale and Dying Wish, and having a shield, those were the the reasons I was able to survive this little situation here. And this is a clip just showing just how bad the ray gun is. I don't know if it's just BO4 or if it's just this map trying to kill one of these um, Brutuses. But like, just look at this thing. I'm just shooting him in the head a whole bunch. Nothing's happening. I was a little bit shocked how how horrible it is. It's only round 14. I mean, I really I really thought this guy would die sooner. Anyways, that's just a situation where the ray gun is not very effective. And I've had this happen a few times where I'm sure we've all had it happen. You get trapped in a corner by a zombie and it's your last zombie and you're desperately trying to keep the zombie alive because you need to do a step of the easter egg. You don't want to kill him unless you absolutely have to. So Winter's Whale gave me a moment to think here and plan my next move. This guy was frozen in, in place. And uh, he didn't move on his own. So I thought, okay, I can't shoot him with the weapons I have. He's going to die. Maybe I can try shocking him with the, the shield key a little bit. And there we go. Shifted his position just enough to get out of there. So that was just a few random moments on Blood of the Dead. It's quite the experience playing that map. And... and uh, completing that Easter egg. Those are just some of the moments from all of my attempts that I thought were kind of interesting or funny and uh, relatable. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll, I'll continue to make lots of videos about BO4 Easter eggs, BO3 Easter eggs, etc. I'll see you in the next video.